Americans respond when you tell them you're an ultimate fighter? Either like it a lot or they get, uh, they get afraid, usually. But be honest with me. Do you use it with the ladies, like maybe in a pickup line? You know, I, I, think, I think it kind of sounds kind of phony if you just bring that up like that. It no, it's, no, it's not. It's very nice. It's something like, um, hey, <laughs> take a look at my chest. Jealous? See? Just... Hey, take a look at my chest. Jealous? I think it's a little conceited, yeah, honestly. That's not, yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's your bandito Carlitos coming at you with part two of Dean Lister's OG edition. Let's get into it. In his early ADCC career, Dean was a big fan of using his bottom half guard to lift his opponents off of their feet and set up his takedowns. Dean enters bottom half guard by giving his opponent the guillotine. Dean lets go of his opponent's leg at half guard, instead opting for a butterfly hook underneath the ankle. With this and his overhook, he's able to elevate his opponent's leg into the air, off balancing him or creating kazushi. Very similar to deep half, Dean turns back into his opponent, but instead Dean puts his head directly between his opponent's legs. This allows him to lift his opponents into the air. Dean can also be seen using this technique on a failed single leg attempt. It's undeniable at this point that the body lock has become a staple of modern day jujitsu. In Dean's early career, he preferred to use the body lock from bottom half, but as the years went on, it became a much more prevalent part of his butterfly guard. In his 2009 ADCC match with Glover Teixeira, Dean starts by establishing double underhooks very much like an electric chair, with one underhook around his opponent's back and the other underneath the leg. Dean uses the underhooks to get underneath Glover's hips. As Glover defends by coming up and raising his base, Dean lets go of the underhooks and switches to the body lock, rolling Glover through for the sweep. Dean can also be seen using the same technique off a single leg attempt. Notice how he establishes the same near side hook on his opponent's leg and the same underhook behind his opponent's back. Dean is also a fan of using the body lock to wrestle up, using it to stand back up to his feet, as well as in the style of PJ Barch. An aspect of Dean's game that doesn't get enough attention is his utilization of the Williams guard, setting up triangles and omoplatas. The Williams guard has a grappler grip underneath his leg with one arm and over his opponent's shoulder with the other arm, gable gripping to create a frame you can push the neck with. Fairly similar to the rubber guard technique known as invisible collar. Dean used the Williams guard to set up a triangle at ADCC, finishing with his arms squeezing around his knees. Now what this does is allows Dean to squeeze and effectively choke his opponent while remaining square as opposed to hooking the leg and turning an angle. Somewhere else you see this occur is in the TP choke. Dean also likes to use the Williams guard to set up omoplatas.
When opponents do a good job of defending the omoplata, Dean transitions right back into the triangle choke. Part of what made Dean's career so damn special was his ability to maintain his submission-centric style throughout multiple eras, making him a fan favorite and my personal favorite grappler of all time. Fun fact about Dean Lister, only two of his victories have not come from submission, one of them being in 2003. As always, thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe, PEACE!